In this episode of Truck House Life, I'm still at Alpine Creek Lodge on day two, and we're going to go looking for the missing sled dog that spent the night out in the wilderness, and something really bad happens to the snow machine. Let's do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. Gorgeous day outside. I think it's uh, breakfast and coffee time. Let's go do it. couldn't figure out the Keurig. That's awesome. It malfunctioned. It wasn't me. Check out the coffee room view out here. Ooh, yeah. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. All right, guys, I feel really bad that dog, uh, they're missing one of the dogs. It spent the night out here. The owners, one of them's coming up when he passed from where I came yesterday, and the other owner is kind of searching around the lodge because I saw them all four here. They all laid on that sled last night, and when I went out to grab them, they all kind of scattered, and I got one. Then uh, the owner of the lodge, Jennifer, got two of the dogs in the Jeep there with the tracks on it, and there's still one missing. So I'm gonna backtrack up this really rocky trail. They don't really have mountain sleds to get up there, so I gotta go check it out, and hopefully find their dog. Morning routine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the avalanche airbag on just in case. out <laughs> just hit a really hard chunk of something He might not even have gone this way, you know? I just, I just don't know. I'm just looking around. Love to find him. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way through the pass and back through all these rocks and see if I can meet up on the Winnie Creek side. I just, I feel bad, man. I feel bad. All right, I'm almost to the top of the pass. Still haven't found him. So I just backtracked what I drove last night to drop down to Alpine Creek Lodge. So we came back to the pass. I didn't see Yellowfoot anywhere. I feel super bad. So I'm just gonna help these guys look until we find it. You know, I don't know what else to do. So anyway, I'm gonna go down this valley about 10 more miles. And I think it's called the Old Susitna Lodge or something like that. But that's where they're based out of with all their dogs. I'll go complete the loop and see if they found the dogs in this side. Here's all their friends. Just gonna go find the other two. Well, still searching for the dog. All six of us are looking now. Owners and some friends. I guess the owner heard the dog barking somewhere up in here, so it's probably stuck in a ravine. The snow's super deep. Hopefully we can find her. I'm trying to look around at all these moose tracks up here and see if the dog followed the moose track, maybe. tracks that might be his next to this moose over here. Engine just sees, still can't find the dog. It's going down. Listen to that. Not even close. It's just like, I guess in the seas, if it's, yeah. I mean, you can't pull it, turn it over. That's like, yep. that's game over. Frank said when he was over by the generator said he could probably heard him barking. Yeah, like when I was out at the exit there by yeah. the one shop, I was like, I think I hear barking, but like maybe that's just my voice reverberating. I, was I definitely heard him up there a while ago, so I mean, he's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys going out that way anytime soon or not? Um, I think Cody is going on Monday. On Monday? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. They gotta have a sled there though, too. I mean, if they would, anyway, if they don't, if you need help, let us know. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. We'll guys. keep you posted too. All right. Get last 
trip I was on is like Nugget Creek and McCarthy went out to the cabin. And my buddy Ski Doo, like, just we could not get it started out there. They get 20 and I drag him all the way out with his girlfriend and his dog and his stuff. Rotate it off later. Oh, yeah, I guess we can't rotate it. <laughs> guys i don't even know what to say <laughs> this is crazy this is so crazy the dog uh its name is yellow leg i went searching all the way back through the pass for it all the way around the loop and we spent the whole day surfing around up the mountain trying to find it because we could hear it barking and it's still up there up over the top of the mountain and we can't get to it and uh, i was just about to try to get around a different way and my snow machine engine just blew. It's totally seized up, like not turning over. I tried pulling the plugs that way there's no compression in there and I couldn't even like begin to pull the cord or the electric start. I tried to start the snow machine and right as it turned over, I heard this pin break inside the engine and the bottom of the engine is locked up, I think. So I'm literally stranded out here, but what better place to be stranded? So I have to figure out how to get my snow machine 60 odd miles back to my vehicle and it's totally dead so yeah anyway you guys want to see the bar because i'm gonna go have a drink all right so the main lodge is back here so uh, let's go check the bar out so for all you wonders this is alpine creek lodge it's owned by jennifer claude and their son bob who also does YouTube, so we'll introduce you to him pretty shortly here. Let's go check this bar out. Triple Bob. All right, that's about. Oh yeah. You guys check out this. Uh... So this is, uh, I guess, what's the main bar. You could say, in a closer glance, it's hundreds of bottle caps. I'm gonna say 2,500 bottle caps. Yeah, yeah, pretty it's, close. It's like 3,000. 3, oh. <laughs> But the real trivia question is who drank all the beers? Cool. Check out this beaver pelt dream catcher. That's pretty legit. It's pretty funny. Is this a dream catcher or what's this thing supposed to be? Uh, I think it's just the old, it, no, it's just a, that's how you used to stretch them in the old days. Oh. A uh, hive stretcher. Never mind. Shows you how much I know. Here's the man, the myth, the legend himself. He's a sender too. So that is the bar. Pretty cool, huh? Despite my engine being blown, I can't think of a better place to be stuck. Can you? I mean, come on. The very first time I came out here was 2012 with a couple buddies and we stayed in this bar. It used to be a cabin you could rent, which is awesome. And then I brought dad out here, I think four years ago and we stayed in this cabin, which is sweet. And this time, I think I've been out here a couple more times. And yeah, this time I'm just staying in this main lodge up here, which is kind of cool. You're connected to everything. Looks like old Bobby graduated this year. If you can hear me, this is the generator shed where the generators are. So this is how the entire place is powered. This is also where the cat lives. Let's get us some cat door down there. It's funny. Yeah, here's my uh, dead snow machine. I get towed back. Click. Not even close. And I know the engine's locked because when I go to pull start, you can't even pull it at all. It's totally seized. These are sweet. Hey, Phil, I found your new Jeep. <laughs> and it's sweet, so they actually tow a snow machine behind the Jeep here in case the Jeep breaks down or has a problem, then they can snow machine back. Brilliant. Wish I was a towing a Jeep behind my snow machine. So I think at this point, I'm just gonna go inside and relax and 
They do have like satellite Wi-Fi, so I'm actually going to do a little research and see if I can figure out what's up with the sled, if there's anything I can do, but so we'll see. Hey, you guys wanna see how to clutch start really quick? So yeah, let's say your, uh, your pull start cord rips in half or something, doesn't work, or the recoil is not working. This is how you start your snow machine. Sometimes it's real easy, sometimes it's really difficult. See, so basically wrap a rope around your clutch down there and just rip on it really hard and hope it goes. And if it doesn't start, you have to rewrap the rope every time. So it can be tough sometimes when the sled's cold. Nice. So we've relaxed and finished some dinner. The northern lights are supposed to be really good tonight. So I'm going to set my alarm for whatever time because they're not out right now and wake up and try to capture them. So hopefully you guys get to see them too. Guess what everybody? The northern lights are out. <laughs> you guys see that? That is super cool. So sweet. Pretty awesome, huh? I'm gonna go get some sleep. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have another video for you next week. And it's probably gonna be all right. Peace, y'all. Mm -hmm.